Hello guys, welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. I have the Kingslayer Red Dot here today made by the company Swamp Fox. And in this short review, I'm going to take a look at its features. The company is almost brand new. It was founded in 2018 in Colorado, USA. So they've only been around for two years and a half. And the name is associated with a military officer who fought in the American Revolutionary War, Francis Marion. He was given the nickname Swamp Fox. And the names of their products are also inspired by the American history. We have uh, Liberty, Justice, Kingslayer, and so on. The company uh, strives to provide great value for money. And I think that for now, they have been most successful in the field of red dot sites. And if you've been on forums or on the range, you have probably not noticed someone using this red dot. So a red dot made by Swamp Fox. And they really have gotten popular in a short amount of time in a little bit more than two years, which is exceptional. All their products, as far as I know, are made in a factory in China, but they go through strict quality control. And you can tell just by looking at them that they're really well made. But we'll get to each of the points through shortly in the review. If we start with uh, the name King Slayer, so this was the first thread outside that Swamp Fox launched. launched. Um, and they probably get the question of whether they like Game of Thrones a lot. Uh, there is no doubt about it. It is of the compact open reflex type, 49 millimeters long, 36 millimeters wide, 25 millimeters high. The dimensions of the window are 23 millimeters by 16 millimeters. It is meant to be used on pistols and also on standard rifles with a Picatinny rail on the receiver. This is why you get this low mount when you purchase it. We definitely can say that uh, it looks modern. It has plenty of angled cuts, which set it apart from the competitive devices. It is of a really low profile design, which many shooters like. It also feels quite robust. Uh, the frame around the lens is very solid, but also not too thick. And the body is made of 6061 aluminum alloy. There is a drain hole here on the side and there is also one here in the middle. Um, and uh, these drain holes are, are here to prevent water from accumulating in this area here. So you can even use this side in the rain and the water will not accumulate in here. It will uh, go right out of this hole, through these holes. The battery compartment is on the side. Um, the tray sticks out a bit, which is a pity. So it really makes this bulkier than it should be. Uh, to access the compartment, you just unscrew the screws with the help of this tool here, and then you just simply open it. Inside there is a compartment for, for the CR1632 battery. Um, it provides 100 hours of battery life at max setting, 2,500 hours if you use at the mid setting and at the lowest setting up to 20,000 hours. So the battery life is not that good uh, and it's much better on the Liberty and the Justice models that are a little bit more expensive than the Kingslayer. We have the elevation and windage compartments here, as you can see. Um, they are accessed, I mean the, the point of impact can be set with this hexagonal tool that is provided in the box. Like so. So you will notice that the screws, they don't produce any clicks when turned. Um, anyways, you should be able to zero the side with minimal adjustments as the side comes out of the box pre-zeroed with the Picatinny mount assembled. Nevertheless, some competitive devices already offer uh, ad adjustment screws that produce clicks when turned. So this could be taken as a disadvantage. If we take a look below, it uses a Trigicon RMR mounting footprint. It also comes with a low mount for the Picatinny platform. Uh, so you can pair it like so. It is designed for the Trigicon RMR footprint and for the Picatinny rail on the bottom. You can also pair it with other adapters made by other companies. So this one is made by Trigicon. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. 
And for the purpose of fitting this red hot side with various adapter with various adapters, you see that there are ba basically uh, eight screws provided in the, I think, I'm not even sure, eight, plenty of pairs of screws for uh, various purposes as regards the adapter mounting. Um, it can withstand 800 G's of impact, so it's not as durable as, um, as let's say, Liberty and, and Justice, which can withstand 1,500 G's of impact, but this is understandable as it's more affordable and also made of a uh, weaker aluminum alloy. It is waterproof, uh, IPX7 certified actually. This means that it can be submerged in up to one meter of depth of water for 30 minutes and it, nothing will break, nothing will, it will still be working normally. It is also fog resistant and you can use it at temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius without problems. As regards the optics, uh, the side operates at one times magnification, so you can use it with both eyes open without problems. The glass is multi, full, fully multi-coated to provide a clear, bright image. There is an anti-glare lens coating also applied, which does its job perfectly. If you take a look a little closer, you will see that there is some blue tint in the upper corners of the lens, but you won't be bothered by that during use. When it comes to illumination on King Slayer, there are several choices available. First, you can choose between green and red illumination models, and then you can choose either a 3MOA central dot radical or a circle dot, which consists of a 3MOA dot surrounded by 65MOA circle. I have the standard classic model here, so we have the central 3MOA uh, illuminated dot. I think that this model also sells the most. But if you have problems uh, with seeing the red color or just prefer green, those choices are also available. And all of these models cost the same. There are 10 illumination levels available altogether. You control the intensity with these two buttons on the side. The compartment with where the buttons are located protrudes a little bit from the housing, so it's not completely flush. Again, adding to the bulkiness, so we have the tray on one side, we have the buttons on the other. It is definitely not as compact and sleek looking as uh, Liberty and Justice models. Um, so I already said that there are 10 illumination levels of, uh, at disposal, so you can use it in all lighting conditions, in dusk, in strong daytime brightness too. To power on the illumination, you simply press the up button and the illumination is on, and then you just control it with the buttons. If you wish to turn it off, you just press the down button for three seconds. I will show all the illumination intensity levels at the end of this video. So stick around if you want to see that. Uh, to power, so I already mentioned that, but if you forget to power off the illumination, or just, I don't know, leave the dot stationary on a firearm or just put it in the box and forget about it, the dot will power off automatically after four hours of inactivity to preserve battery life, which is a great addition and a nice feature to have. It does not have the same shake, shake and wake function than the Liberty and Justice models, which turn off after four minutes and then they power back on in, in, in an instant, but still it's nice to have uh, because if you forget to turn it off, the battery won't deplete and you will be able to use the red outside next time you go on range. The warranty is interesting when it comes to Swamp Fox, so they claim that they will repair or replace the site if it fails prior to firing 50,000 rounds. And since they can't count your shots, they will probably fix it if it's not obvious that the site has been damaged by you because you were reckless. Let's get to the scope of delivery. You can see that I have many things here in front of me. So let's just start with the box in which you get the Kingslayer. I have to say that the box looks quite nice. Um, so the, the looks of the box are also important because you purchase everything with your eyes, naturally. And it, you can see that everything in here is nice, soft, so that the, when the, you purchase this, let's say, uh, over the internet, over the web, it will get to your address without any, you won't, be, <laughs> you won't have to be scared of it getting damaged or bumped against something or something like that. You can also use it for transport. Then 
naturally the cover for the site which you'll be putting on your red out when you're not using it to prevent scratches, impacts, blows, so on. It is made out of rubber. Two stick stickers with Swam Fox, Swam Fox written on it. Then we have the support card. We have the instruction manual available in the English language. Many screws, which are always handy to have. CR1632 battery. A low mount, which goes on the Trigicon RMR footprint and is designed for the Picatinny platform. A universal tool, which you'll most often use to, I don't know, fix this on an ad adapter or open the battery tray. A hexagonal tool for vintage and elevation adjustments. And of course, a lens cloth to clean the glass of smudges, dust, and so on. The price. So all the versions of the Kingslayer are available at a very um, affordable price, which is 249 euros, uh, somewhere around there. And it is a very affordable site for what it offers, definitely. Uh, and the price is probably one of the reasons why it has become so popular in such a short amount of time. Um, and I would say that Kingslayer definitely uh, they were, it was their first Red Dot site of Swamp Fox and uh, it started their popularity, definitely. Now let's sum up this short review with good and bad stuff. That's how I usually put it, even though the bad is usually uh, only slight improvements that have to be made, or at least in my opinion, um, have to be made. But if we start with the good ones, definitely the 10 illumination levels, which are at disposal and the illumination can basically be set to strong daytime brightness to dusk and all lighting conditions. Then we have four models at disposal. So we have green and red models and then we have circle dot and central dot options. Then we have the Trigicon RMR footprint, a mounting standard that is getting more popular by the day. And there are many mount manufacturers that produce adapters for this footprint. Then we also have the side battery compartment, which is, uh, I would say, a really good thing to have because you don't have to re-zero the site every time you switch the battery. But on the other hand, it, it is quite, um, it sticks out of the red out site. It would be much more elegant and less bulky if it was flush with the housing. So it sticks out a little bit too much for my taste, even though it might not bother anyone. So I'm pretty sure that some people won't even notice that. Um, it is also slightly tricky to zero because the uh, screws don't produce any clicks when rotated. So this might be an issue. And the battery life. Many people have complained over its battery life. I haven't tested it in practice, but um, we uh, considered information provided in the, the instruction manual here. Uh, then we can conclude that competitive devices have a far greater battery life, at least some of them and at least on paper. Okay, so the Kingslayer is definitely a great red outside with an affordable price tag. It has plenty of useful features that shooters look for in an open reflex red outside. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this review useful, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comment section. Check out our other videos on the Optics Trade YouTube channel and see you next time. Take care, bye.